Hi everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. I am here with Chef Val from OUT School of Community Medicine. Always a pleasure to have you here. And I'm totally excited because I can tell it's cookies. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to let you tell us what kind of cookies we're okay, making. So we have a chocolate chip oatmeal peanut butter cookie. Okay, awesome. So we're like hitting all of those. We're hitting points, everything. Right? Yes. <laughs> and you know, it is a cookie, but it also, I mean, if you made it in a different form, it's a mm -hmm. granola bar or it's an energy bar, you know. I mean, oh, like, very so, true. You know, don't think of it just like a cookie. Okay. On the other hand, they are still going to be higher in calorie. They do have a lot of good nutrients and fiber, but they're still going to be higher in calorie. So they really are meant right. for a little snack. A little sweet snack, a but maybe something. not a dozen right. at once. Not 17. <laughs> right. right. Okay. Dang it. Right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get going. In, in this bowl, we have a little bit of white sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, and we're going to add some oil okay. and two eggs, and then I'm going to use the mixer and make a little noise here. Okay. And I'll, I'll get right back to you on this. No, nope, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, so now we have those ingredients in. We're going to add some milk, Okay. some salt, baking soda, ground flax meal and it is important to get the ground flax meal instead of whole flax seeds okay. because you really can't digest the nutrients in um, flax seed as well as flax meal. Oh true, okay. okay. I'm going to blend this up. <clears throat> now I'm going to add the peanut butter. So okay. it does take um, some steps but it's still a very quick little recipe. Right, you're not having to like do a lot of different steps itself it's just all going into the same right. bowl we're just all putting yes into and again the same these bowl. are just like sorry i didn't mean to cut you off okay. these are just little um just those tiny little steps that can make bigger differences in making better choices right and so we have like a natural peanut butter instead of one that has a lot of hydrogenated oil in it okay um you know choose one that's sugar free instead of one that has um, sugar added to it because you've already got sugar in here so you don't need extra sugar True. okay one more blend Okay, so the very last step here is that we're going to fold in the flour, okay. the oats, and the chocolate chips. Yes, don't okay. forget the chocolate chips. I did, I did forget <laughs> the vanilla, so and a little vanilla. All right. This all gets blended up, and then it just gets dropped by, you know, say, tablespoon size or two tablespoon size, whatever you like. We actually made some bigger ones yesterday for our, um, our beauties over our here. Our beauty that we're yes. about to go to. Yes. So this just gets all stirred up. It's going to look just like any other cookie dough, maybe okay. a little bit looser. Again, drop by, you know, like two tablespoons table or okay. so onto a sheet pan. They get baked for about 15, 16 minutes. And you do let them cool in the pan because they are kind of soft at first. You don't want to like jump right in and start eating them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, good. I'm going to just hop right yes, over to these do. very pretty ones over here. They look amazing. And I'm going to taste them because I can't resist. They're so very glad. good and I totally can tell with the oatmeal and the peanut butter like you could easily make it like a granola bar like right. you said or a cookie or anything right. like that. So it looks like a round cookie but it could also be breakfast, right? So it could be a breakfast, snack, any right. of the above. Right. <laughs> Thank you and if you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes go ahead and head to kjrh.com.